I wasn't doing anything. Just testing the uh, texture. I know, I know. This is for science and not for food. I understand, but. I just can't get a hold of myself sometimes. I think you understand. Um, overall, it is a very good texture and it looks healthy um, for the most part. Shush. We, we're not going to get caught. Don't think that way. I think we hid our identities enough so they won't recognize us. How else are we going to experiment if we don't steal from the facility? It looks like they are testing some very strange things. You saw that, right? Yes. Um, they might be trying to make shadow people, I believe. I don't know. I'm surprised they're not trying to make more vampires. It would be nice if it wasn't just us, you know? But, um, on a totally unrelated note, I think I know where we can get our food now. Maybe. Um, not exactly sure what type of blood this is. This is probably why you, um, told me not to, uh, taste it. There seems to be something forming in here. I'm not exactly sure what. Uh, I don't think that happens in normal human blood. But, um, if you want to write any of this stuff down, that might be wonderful in our research. So, I'm going to start by mixing this with some acid and seeing what happens. So the acid seems to be in good condition, so it's not going to um, affect anything if it was out or something. Are you ready? Good. Let's see if I can try and do this. Slow. Okay. 
four drops. It doesn't seem to be doing anything so far. Added three more. For some reason, it's very appetizing. Even if this can be some this slender man blood or whatever they're um experimenting on in there. Also, yes friend, I know my accent is uh off and on. I'm about a thousand years old. There's been a lot of places I've been, and I'm trying to fit in with today's society. So, my accent is going to, uh, switch. I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Okay. Seems to be quite a bit of unknown things in the acid. I'm not exactly sure. It's like mixing in with it though. So, uh, that's very confusing because blood is supposed to um, do some sort of reaction. But it's not. So what it what if we um, continue to mix it with things just for experimental purposes? Okay. We got this little handy cup here. more blood. Not even going to lie, I feel like I'm making myself a drink. Okay. Oh. I mean, we got to get rid of it, don't we? Even if we find nothing. They come looking for it. Who knows, maybe they put a tracker in this. They can't prove it if they can't find it. So... Got to get rid of it. And if we throw away this syringe... It won't raise too many red flags because it's empty, sort of. But what kind of garbage person goes through the garbage? Do you have the human blood? Okay, thank you. Starting to look more like a blood and less like pee. Okay. Mix with human blood. Okay, um, it is sizzling a little bit, which 
just kind of funny that the mild acid that we had um, didn't do anything, but human blood, on the other hand, is giving it some sort of a reaction. Hmm. It's quite the smell to it. It doesn't smell as appetizing. Which is strange because human blood is usually quite appetizing. Oh no. I hope I don't crave just what this blood is. Oh boy. If that's the case, then we're going to have to keep breaking into this facility just to survive to eat. What shall I do if I can't taste human blood anymore? I don't know. Oh. Maybe they knew we were coming. It is the government after all. So. But, we have to figure out what they're trying to make, and we have to be one step ahead. We have to make the ultimate vampire. We lost our master quite a few years ago, and no one's quite equipped to become the master. So, why don't we invent one? And with whatever monster they're trying to create in this scientific facility, we will make a hybrid. Of course, we did add human blood in here. We don't want human blood in a vampire, but of course we were all human once. Maybe we just needed that to tap it. Do you have some of your blood? Good, good. And another file. Mm, how lovely. Okay, so we will add in all this blood. And put it into a special machine and put it away so it can grow grow into our master okay. what else do we need again? Okay. Where is that exactly? Oh. Ah. A special antidote to have cells bind together and create the body. Do we know for certain if this is going to work? Okay. What if, if we need a vessel, what if we use you? Okay. Do we want to try this first? Or should we just create the vessel? Okay, so... Let's do that. And we'll use this to
This part has been complete. It looks a little darker. Hmm. Okay. Now, would you like to stop doing the research and come over here and become the vessel? Thank you. Now, just relax, and I'm going to put this in your veins. Just relax, okay? I can call my other vamp friend. Perform um, some medical emergency if it so need be but I honestly truly have good feelings for this so give me your arm and let's start slowly by injecting this into your vein Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this into an IV bag and have you sit there. That seems the, like the more um, logical way to go. So. I've got the clipboard. I'm just going to got the blood in the IV. I'm just going to hang this up here and let it drip. It's probably best that we discovered to let it, in the past anyways, let it drip slowly into your veins. So, how are you feeling? Calm. It's always calm before the storm. Uh, just a reference. Not saying anything bad will happen. Okay, so you are calm. Any other physical symptoms? Tiredness, thirsty, you're starting to feel weak, okay, maybe it's just your body trying to get used to this, we do know that this does not work on a pure human. And it goes well with the vampire blood. It just boils and reacts a little bit. But it does not react to human blood. At least not fully. I wonder if we can get anywhere with half and half. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to observe you here. For a little bit. Okay. Your pupils seem to be getting a little bigger, which is a good sign. Your skin is still as pale as ever. Very, very nice. Okay. When I feel your face and your skin, Everything seems to feel normal, and nice and cold. Um, I 
let me know if you feel hot. If a vampire becomes hot to the touch, that is not a good sign. Your hair seems to be coming out a little bit. I'm not sure why. Um, it's having some type of reaction. Uh, some hair loss. It's, it's not super noticeable, don't worry. And um, I'm sure we could get some wigs. That's what a lot of humans do nowadays, right? Weeks. Okay, so. Stepping back, looking at you again. Uh, everything still seems normal. If you feel anything randomly, out of nowhere, please just blurt it out and let me know so I can get all of the details down. Okay, so your veins seem to be um, sticking out a little bit more, which I think that is a good sign. From what I remember, our master seemed to have very prominent veins. He was very strong. Um, had the most precise jawline. Very, very dark hair. Very big eyebrows. Uh, prominent red. Eyes. His eyes actually glowed in the dark. It was pretty phenomenal. And his powers were um, that of something else. They were definitely out of this world that no other vampire seems to possess such strength. No matter how much sleep we may get. claimed to um, have been birthed on the moon and the moon and gave him such powers. I don't know if that was accurate or if he just was messing around because he tends to do that or did. Um, it was just old age. I don't know if you remember him much. You weren't really... I don't know if you returned just yet. This is going to be a great breakthrough if this works. You're feeling stronger. Great. That's amazing news. I think this might work. We just need a vessel. But we have to figure out how to get this to work on humans and not just vampires. We don't have many vampires anymore, so we need to start using humans. I wonder if we can just use our blood in with the solution. Just extra vampire blood into a human body. Or just turn more humans. I think that's what we need to start doing. I know it kind of goes against what we were taught to kind of keep into hiding because we don't want to get hunted. There's not many 
of us left anymore. So. Feel your power. It looks like you're going to be the next master. That's great news. I always knew you'd be the next. If this work. Now, you are definitely going to have to rest up after all of this and rebuild all of that new strength and powers you're going to have. I don't know what these humans are working on in these facilities, but whatever it is that they're trying to create is quite strong and unique. So have to gather up some humans and maybe with your powers now we'll be able to go to these facilities more easier more to be and be more sneaky and not have to worry about getting caught the government has a lot of people nowadays working for them. They have a lot of equipment. Ones now that can destroy us all. And destroy al even aliens. Everything. So, you go rest and I will continue working on this. This is a breakthrough. And when you're all rested up, we'll go to the facility again, hoping that they have more. They just kind of stock this blood away. They have plenty of it, I believe. I was very quick on trying to grab it, but... And then the first thing, right after the blood, would have to be a human. Or a couple humans. Let's get a bigger batch. And more humans. And we'll see. And then the vampires won't be extinct. And will be even more powerful than we ever were. Get rest. You also have a lot more responsibility being the new master. Are you excited? Good, you should be. Now, get some rest, my darling.